So we went to the Pokemon Center last time. I remember we got a Bulbasaur following us around. Thank you, Burgers Lettuce. I appreciate you uh, saying nice things. I don't need your Bulbasaur. I don't need your Bulbasaur. I already have a Bulbasaur. Sometimes Burgers Lettuce is in here and he's like, I love your show. And sometimes he's in here and he's like, what cheese do your feet smell the most like? And I try to just ignore the second one to the point where he probably it doesn't even, he, he's surprised that I remember it. But the truth is, <laughs> I see everything. I see it all. What a shame. The people here were robbed. Some even saw the thieves escape and they say it was none other than Team Rocket. To protect the poor owners of this house from further harm, I won't be letting anybody in. Not even a little Rattata will sneak past me. Yard. Oh, Gary, you got, you're not gonna believe this. A p p, -p pokemon it it gah. <laughs> if this was uh, actually Dan, straight up guarantee he throws this Pokeball, it's a Metapod. Yo, but how are you gonna kill Pidgey? Pidgey can fly. It could just fly around the lightning bolts. I mean, it is pretty bad. We never got to use Zippy Zap last time. Wow. It's super effective is what it is. Level up mid-battle. Super Saiyan level 16. Now, level 16, that's normally where my Pikachu would become a Raichu, but this one doesn't evolve because I will never let it. Oddish. Yes, I will switch out Pokemon. It's not 16? Whatever, dude. Same difference. Give me the Charmander. You need a Thunderstone for Raichu? Whatever, I was thinking of Ivysaur. I don't know anything about Pokemon, dude. I did see Detective Pikachu yesterday, though. Oh, it's it didn't crush him. Didn't you watch the anime? Uh, yeah, I watched the anime when it aired in 1998, and then, unlike the majority of the internet, I left my youth behind when I became an adult. Started. Watching content more befitting someone with a fully developed cerebral cortex. No offense to the Pokemon Corporation. The heck was that? How are you gonna win this one? It doesn't make sense. You got nothing. It's a war of attrition. The movie is objectively a 6 out of 10. My brain thinks it's an 8. I mean, I thought it was like a 5. But that's fine. You know? It wasn't like a waste of time. It wasn't, uh... I didn't think it was, it was very good. But I was like, you know... It's... The art is really good and everything else is like, okay. Yeah, that's the other thing, is like, I didn't tweet about it because I didn't want to offend people, but instead of tweeting about it, I'll just like talk about it uh, on a platform in which I have a uh, larger and live reach. Um, I think that, you know, after I tweeted that it was a 5 out of 10, I was going to tweet, uh, please keep in mind, after watching the movie, that it's for children. So, you know, I'm a 30-year-old man. If you're a 30-year-old man, your mileage may vary on Detective Pikachu. If you're uh, a 30-year-old man and you have like a nine-year-old kid, might be a good uh, a good use of your Saturday. Honestly, welcome to sleep.
Yo, that's a great animation. I think... I don't know, what is an Eevee? It's just like a... It's a neutral type Pokemon? Tofu Pokemon? Normal, okay. Yo, it's not edgy to think that Detective Pikachu is just okay. Not liking things is not edgy. It's if I called it, uh, Poke shit, then we're getting into the edge gear. Joe Biden Pokemon? Pardon me? Joe Biden wishes he had a glorious Ben Franklin style beard like this Eevee? Easy. Phew! Okay, I feel a bit calmer now. Pardon? He gave me 520 ruples. Let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this, <laughs> that Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Ace, just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Gary. Yo, I haven't fought the, uh... I haven't fought Misty yet. I gotta go back. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? <laughs> Alright, first trainer. Austin. 19 Nugs. Throwing out a Venonat. Uh, I am going to use my alliterative move, and nothing could stop me. Easily destroyed. Not even close. Mathis grew to level 9. Honey Pop 3 incoming. 108 rubles and 3 Pokeballs. Mathis is a, uh, he's a magic carp. So pretty soon he's going to be a dominant creature. What the heck, dude? Tomo is happily staring at the swaying flowers. Well, that's cool. You know, I'm happy for him. Tomo is actually, after watching um, Detective Pikachu, I realize Tomo is actually a uh, Psyduck. And in many ways... Psyduck is really just, um, I mean, I think he's like the most relatable Pokemon. He's just trying to hold it together. Not do something he regrets. Keeping his anxiety at a, at a manageable level. Misty, the gym leader of the Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge her gym. Alright, um, how about this? Impressive! I see you have a Pokemon that is at least level 15. In this case, head on in. Yo, Tomo, you got something out here? Anything in the coral? Look at that. Modern animations. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. You are challenged by Beauty Lily. All right, that's quite the pose. Lily sent out Goldeen. This is going to be a massacre. Chat, close your eyes. It is a level 16 Goldeen, but I'm going to use a dang old Thundershock because I don't want to, I don't want to waste my Zippy Zaps on on a coward. Oh, wow, that's that's painful. Excuse me, use Quick Attack? Not allowed? 
I get to go first because I'm the player. Cat, you can't be up on my lap. I mean, you can be up on my lap. Just stop using your claws to massage my thighs. And also, like, you can't be on the desk. Keeps trying to make it onto the desk. Take the long way around. Just kidding. I want the XP. I love the mouth videos. Uh, mouth getting hit by a thunder shock. Mouth getting hit by the ooh ah ah ah. Shelder. Young Shelder. They are great. No, no uh, argument here. You know what? Maybe you you've earned a zippy zap. The lightning of Tomoe, very good. Yeah. Ooh, wah, ah, ah. <laughs> A critical hit, the opposing shelter fainted. Easy. I'm soaked! <laughs> oh my god. What happens? Is Nintendo okay? Little brother spam in chat, please. They shouldn't be jumping so close to the platform, dude. Someone's gonna crack their dang skull open. Seal! Use Tomo, I wanna see him evolve. Um, if you don't use... Thunder Pokemon on Misty's Gym, you've lost your mind. Tomo will evolve. You you don't have to fear. It's just gonna take him a bit. Yo. Yo! One more level, right? Ivysaur is at level 16. Grass beats water too. Yeah, but not as bad as uh, Thunder beats water. Oh, here we go. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Get out of here, Roka. You're crazy. My sweet Pokemon are ready, are you? You know, these Pokemon trainers would be like a lot better at their job if they just took a variety of types. Yo, I cannot attack Psyduck. He's so pure. That being said, Zippy Zap. Yikes. <laughs> this is a it's a microcosm of what it's like for Ruka and Tomo to fight in real life as well. Um, I think I will not switch Pokemon personally. And then uh, I think I'm gonna use Zippy Zap. Oh, it lived! Scald. Yo, not bad though. Ruka was burned. It was hurt by his burn. It's all right. Zippy Zap will finish the job. The strategy for this battle is use your best attack. Go back to Smash Bros, Starmie. It's just that easy. Goddish grew to level 15. Pidgey grew to level 15. Pidgey wants to learn the move Wing Attack. You can do whatever you want, because, like, I will probably never use you, but I'll tell you what. Get rid of Gust. We don't need two flying attacks. Give me wing attack instead. Wow, you're too much. You got 3,000 rubles for winning. Alright, you can have a cascade badge to show that you beat me. I mean, no, never has a high five been more deserved than that. A cascade badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 listen to you. You can also have my favorite TM, Scald! 
Once I get his Squirtle, guaranteed. Use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. How'd you beat Misty? Did he beat Misty? I don't understand. Scald is extremely good. It's the second best move in Pokemon. What's the best move? Hyper Beam? You're tired. I get it. You're tired. You're burned. Get over it. Here, you can have a... You can have a berry. Zippy Zap is the best move. Yo. Hello, Daniel. Daniel, did you see that I got a melee kill in Tarkov last night? You jealous? Moreover, not only did I get a melee kill, um... I went back into factory like half an hour later. One tapped the dude in the back of the head. And looked at his dog tag. It was the same dude that I meleeed to death. Was he looting when you got him? No, we were both like player scabs. Or no, we were both PMCs cuz he had a dog tag. We we had one clip each, and I know because I looted him after it, you know, I killed him. We both emptied our clips, didn't kill each other, and then just alternated using our melee and leaning at each other until one of us died. The thing is, though, like, I didn't want to alternate using my melee. I wanted to get the thrill of the kill, but, uh, melee uses a lot of stam, dude. So I, you, like, swing your knife once. Yo, Flimsy Jello, thank you. Swing your knife once, you gotta wait like 15 seconds to swing it again. But I got him. Psyduck. Level 10 Psyduck? Honestly, you don't deserve a Zippy Zap. What did I tell you? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Math is grew to level 10. <laughs> How could I lose? It's a crit all day, every day. Oh, hello. What's up? Yeah. When you, I, it's super effective. You've opened the door. What's, uh, what's going on? Good afternoon. <laughs> I don't know. I was freaking out. She opened the door and then just she bent down and did a very deep bow, which is good. You gotta, you gotta show respect to your husband. But it was a little. <laughs> Concerning. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it's like what happens before you end somebody's life is you just open their door and bow to them, and then you're like, bang! <laughs> Youngster Timmy. Sand true? Yo! Ruka is not equipped to take out this thick boy. Yo, you got it. This is Tomo's time to shine. I was thinking, okay, after the movie yesterday. Yeah. I should when I get a uh, side duck, that should be Tomo. Kate, what did you think about Detective Pikachu? Kate said it sucked. See, I told you, even though I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, that wasn't what led me to just think the movie was decent. Or like. A little bit less than decent, honestly, but... Kay loves Pokemon, and she was still like, man. I watched the animated Pokemon movies, where people say that's for babies, and I watched this movie, and that for... Oh! <laughs> I did like the, the creature design, though. Yeah, 
It's a 5 out of 10, so about as good as uh, Dan thinks the Big Lebowski is. Yo. Youngster Timmy. Ow! Stomped flat! That's mouth. We've almost completed the full Nug Challenge. Who is even left at this point? Uh, is it Bear and Cory? Or Rob and Bear? I don't know. There's, uh, at some point, the Nug inflation just got out of control. Have you ever battled the... Ace Trainers? Ace Trainers? I don't think so. You think so? Because, like, my impression of uh, Pokemon Let's Go right now is that, I mean, it's it's pretty easy. It doesn't get easy. It gets hard. Apparently, I beat one last stream. Let me, this is Dan reenacting the Big Lebowski. Dude, dude. I'm abide. I'm the dude. Sir Dudeness. Dude, you're out of your element. Donnie, you're out of your element. Dude. That's pretty good. But you forgot to say, uh, Sir Dudenstein, Candyman. Number five, are you kidding? Who do you think you are? I am. Camper Kevin. Nice outfit. Yo, that's a good Pokemon, though. Growlithe? Growlithe isn't messing about. What type is Growlithe? Uh, is a fire normal type? Fire normal. Otherwise, how would it do a bite? That's not a fire move. Bite is dark? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, keep in mind, I, uh, oh, let's do it. This, yo, this is Bear. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. I've eaten 73 chicken nuggets. <laughs> Are you ready? You got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. Oh, my God. You put the nugget in your bag. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Oh! Okay, that's the other thing. I would recommend you go see Detective Pikachu, but just imagine that it's Dan as Pikachu. I forgot to mention it yesterday. The number of times that he says kid in that movie. Oh. You gotta keep your head on a swivel in this business, kid. Kid, you wanna go get a coffee? Great job, kid. You got the detective in you up to this point. Nice get, kid. How'd you... Your, yeah. in, your instincts are out of control, kid. You gotta keep that hole open, kid. <laughs> Pikachu never says you gotta keep that hole open, kid. <laughs> you are correct. We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. Did you tell Dan that you bought Yeezys? Uh, I did not buy Yeezys. I did buy Adidas shoes, though. Boost. You got the boost. They're boosts. They're not ultra boosts. They're just regular boosts. R. Team Rocket Grunt. Team Rocket Grunt sent out Zubat, the hardest Pokemon to catch in Pokemon Go. Kate gives me her second phone and then uh, has me catch like this Zubat that's flying around and then gets mad when I waste her Pokeballs. You wasted, like, 20 of them. I don't know what I'm doing in Pokemon Go. If you wanted to catch it efficiently, don't give it to someone who's never played Pokemon Go. Only when you give me your phone. I don't want to switch Pokemon. I'm, I lied. Send out coughing. What's the coughing Poison. I mean, look at it. It's a game for children. Don't make me laugh. Not for children. It's for very smart individuals. <laughs> a critical hit. That's Tomo too. Yo, level 17, out of control. Yo, Kate didn't buy a second phone. It's her phone from like the year 2009. She that phone will not work for 2000 and we got that phone 2014. You get the idea. 
Dude, honestly, I'm never gonna use Thunder Wave. Might as well learn Light Scream. 